Do you hold any leadership position in any political party? I resigned uh, way back 2022, Mr. Chairman. Uh, what is your net worth? Sorry. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, my current net worth is just slightly over 800, 800 million. Um, when I appeared before you in 2022, yes. my net worth at that time was, um, was about uh, 761 million. Mm -hmm. So we have had um, a slight uh, adjustment of about 5.6%, 5.68% 7, yes. to okay. 8.01%. That is 761 to 801. To 801. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mr. Speaker, you know, 761 to 801 is a growth of 40 million. Yes. I have seen uh, senior counsel Abin Nasir, who is a lawyer like yourself, ask that for all these years, you are only able to have a net worth of 761, then in less than two years, 40 million. What would you say to Ahmed Nasir? Because I know the answer myself, but maybe you can say something to him as a lawyer. No, because I haven't been practicing, uh, I cannot even uh, answer it in that regard. But uh, of course, uh, we began in um, very, very junior levels uh, in, in on the, the public service. Do you um, know how much you were earning? 2,400. Two, yes. You remember? Yes. That was our take home. Yes. We were appointed on the same day we as magistrates. We were appointed magistrate. on the same day with the chairman. <laughs> and yes. As magistrates. And, uh, you know, that's what we used to take home. So when somebody looks at the length of time that uh, we've worked, part of it, and I did indicate that um, I put in a cool uh, slightly over 15 years uh, when we were earning those kind of uh, mega salaries. So. Yes. Well, for me, I think, um, Mr. Chairman, it's just to show that uh, I've been a very modest uh, civil servant or public servant. Chair, maybe yes. what I wanted uh, the, my former speaker to tell the senior counsel of Ben Nasir that even with your 2,200 salary then, a property you bought in Kanyuambora then at uh, maybe 12,000, is today worth close to 60 million shillings. Uh, there's time value for money and values keep changing. Even this is just adjustment, um, most of it is just adjustment in the uh, valuation of um, some small property that I have in the village. And some little bit of uh, uh, farming activities that I do. Mm. Okay, Speaker Emeritus, nominee, we are done with you. We have checked your documents and found them to be in order, corresponding with what we have. We'll ask the sergeant to pass them on to you, and unless you are, uh, I think also the memoranda sent out to you, you adequately responded to all of them. So unless you are otherwise lawfully held, you are discharged to go to your other duties. <laughs> and uh, face the mountain and pray to find favor. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, you know when you speak the about... As a chairman, I just wanted to give, this is gratuitous, uh, gratuitous. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to give um, for the benefit of uh, staff, um, something I call um, an exit scorecard yes. of my 20 months and um, 15 days at the state law office. Give it to us. And hold on, the majority leader was saying... So. I was saying on a light note, I can confirm the Honorable J.B. Moturi does not pray facing the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very good Anglican. He does not go to the mountain. There is the other people who are known for the mountain, not yes. J.B. <laughs> I pray to only one God. <laughs> Morogara has a different knowledge. Your private life is not in audit. You may leave. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman and other members. Yes. Uh, I, 
I've enjoyed uh, this engagement, and uh, as you said, Mr. Chairman, should I find favor?